Hey, welcome to the channel, guys. Bob here. Happy New Year. Listen, I did a video called Steam Radiator Not Working. I'm going to leave a link up here in the cards above, also down below. You might want to go check that out before we get into this one, but this one's all about the proper location of that air vent in your steam radiator. Now, I'm talking about a one-pipe steam heating system in a residential setting. This would include anything from a one-family up to a six-family home for the purposes of this video. Now, there are big multifamily buildings, apartment buildings that have different type of steam heating systems. But for this video, I'm talking about a one-pipe steam heating system and the proper location of that air vent. And I want to say welcome. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos. We're going to drop down to the bench now. And I'm going to tell you where the location of that steam air vent should go on your cast iron freestanding radiator. Stick around. All right, guys, I'm going to say it again. We're talking about a one-pipe steam heating system in a residential setting. I'm not talking about commercial buildings. I'm not talking about two-pipe steam. I'm talking about your everyday average anywhere from one to six family single-pipe steam heating system. You have a feed valve that's down here. If you want to know more about this valve, I'm going to suggest you check out that link uh, in the cards above and down below uh, and check out that video about steam uh, radiator not working but essentially a lot of radiators are tapped in different spots but the optimal place for the air valve to be would be midway down between top and bottom as you can see here now this particular radiator is tapped on top here now don't forget these radiators can be used for steam they can be used for a hot water system and in a hot water system as the water rises uh, you want to get the air out in the best location in a hot water uh, system, in my opinion, is up top here where this is tapped. But if you have two tappings and you have the choice, I recommend you put the air valve here. And the reason being is because when steam comes into a radiator, steam is a gas. So as the boiler makes steam, it uh, starts traveling through the pipes and it's pushing air. It's looking to get the air out of the system, out of the pipes, out of the radiators. Uh, if it can't get the air out, well, then it can't warm anything up. So essentially, when the steam comes in the feed valve here, you would think that it goes all along the bottom here and then it starts to, to come up and push the air out the top vent here. But that's not the case because it's lighter than air. The steam comes in and actually travels up the first section, goes up to the top, goes across the top. Again, it's lighter than air. And it's pushing the air out. And as it starts to go down, it, it pushes the air out of, the, of this air valve that's located midway down here. So basically it comes in, travels up, and then swoops around and is pushing the air down and out through the valve. At that point, uh, when the pressure gets to a predetermined setting, um, this radiator pretty much gets filled up with steam. The sections start to warm up and everything gets hot. If you have the air valve up on top here, what's going to happen is the steam's going to come in as it travels up the section here. It's going to go across the top it's going to hit the air valve here and what's going to happen is that air valve is going to sense steam and it's going to shut and the entire radiator may not get warm. You may have some cold spots. Now, eventually it's going to heat up. You know, it's cast iron. It radiates heat. So if the system stays on long enough, you will feel that they're warm. They may not be hot. They'll be warm. But that doesn't mean you're going to get the proper heat out of it. So, again, like I mentioned, uh, if you can put it here, that's great. Uh, listen, all over the place, there are hundreds, thousands of radiators, steam radiators with vents up top. I mean, that's just the way it is. Is it the right place? No. The best place to do it is here. And uh, an easy way you can tell, if you happen to have a radiator that's got an air valve on top and you want to put it down in the middle if it's that much of a concern to you 
Because to be honest with you, most people, most people I don't think know the difference. But if you wanted to move it from the top to the bottom, what I would do, most radiators, if you look, they will have a little raised portion here. It's like a raised protruding piece of cast iron. And generally it's got a little a plug in there. It's not, it's not like a hex, hexagonal plug. It's a, just a, it's got a slotted screw head in it. And you could actually put a screwdriver in there and uh, ideally it would screw out. Now, if it's been in there for years, it's not gonna be that easy to get out. Uh, alternatively, you'll see these little raised uh, portions on the radiator that are blanked off meaning there's nothing in there. So in either case, whether you have a plug that doesn't come out or whether you have just a solid piece of cast iron, you can drill that out. That raised uh, solid section of cast iron actually was put there. So if you wanted to put a valve in there, you could do it. And you could simply go out and get a drill bit with a 1 8 inch pipe tap and you'll be able to uh, drill that out. And the size to drill this out is going to be a 21 64th inch drill bit followed by a 1 8 inch pipe tap. You can drill it, you can tap it, you use a little bit of cutting oil and you get that tapped and then you can proceed to screw your, your, your air valve in if you want to relocate the valve, which a lot of people do. A lot of people could care less, but a lot of people want to put it in the right spot. And then what you can do is go out and get yourself a, in this case here, this, this little plug happens to be brass, but you get yourself a black iron 1 8 inch plug. And what you can do is you can plug up the top hole. And what I would do is use pipe joint compound. Uh, my pipe joint compound of choice is Megalock, which is a Teflon tape impregnated uh, pipe joint compound and you just go in here and you can plug this up and you will be good to go so I got that in there and you snug that up with a with a little uh, adjustable wrench and you'll be good to go so guys that's it this is not really uh, meant to be a long video it just wanted to show you where it should be properly located so if you have a radiator that you feel is not getting hot all the way it may be warm, lukewarm if you will, but you want to check the location of the air valve. If it's up on top here, you may want to consider relocating it to, to the opposite end, opposite the fee valve, midway between top and bottom. And if you have that little spot on your radiator that you can, you can actually drill and tap, I would highly recommend you, you relocate the radiator valve here and that's about it for the video guys i hope you got some useful information out of this if you have any other questions or you want to know a little bit more about why that radiator may not be getting hot go check out that other video i told you about steam uh, steam radiator not working again links up above and links down below and uh, yeah that's it guys so there you go guys what'd you think now a word of caution to your apartment house dwellers I do not recommend if you live in an apartment setting, an apartment house, multifamily building, especially in the winter, that you go fooling around with your air valves. If it happens to be on top and you decide you want to move it to the middle, if there is a place to put it, uh, I don't recommend you do that. I recommend you call your superintendent to do that because in an apartment setting, you can get into some pretty good trouble if you remove that air valve and the steam starts coming up. Before you know it, your whole apartment will be filled up with steam. So leave that to the super, leave that to the pros. To everyone else uh, in a single family setting, perhaps, if you have a place to move the radiator valve from the top to midway down, that's great. I'm gonna supply you with the link for the size of the proper drill bit, also the proper pipe tap, so you can go in and perhaps drill it, tap it out, and relocate that air valve if it happens to be on top to the middle. And that's it guys, it's very, very simple. Steam travels up as soon as it comes into the radiator. It's going up, it's looking for a way to get out. If that air valve happens to be on top, that air valve may shut off before the radiator gets too warm. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. I know it was a short one. Um, 
I want to say that if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell. The, the most important thing you can do is hit that like button because if you don't hit the like, YouTube just shovels these videos under the rug. Anyway, I want to thank you once again for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I know you have choices when looking for plumbing solutions. I'm certainly glad you hit up my channel. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Stay well. And as always, guys, Happy New Year and happy plumbing.